we have our dash cluster, we have our speedometer, our tachometer, our RPM, engine RPM. We have our two air gauges for our primary air tank and our secondary air tank. We, in this screen here, we have our mileage. We can also scroll through for different features. Here we have our fuel level gauge, our depth level gauge, our battery gauge, um, oil pressure, and coolant temperature as well. In this screen here, we also have some lights that will be displayed. This is our park brake light indicating that our park brake. This is our engineer side of Vista screen. This is a control center for our lighting. Um, HVAC. This is our home screen here. We do have a stealth mode feature. Um, this is to turn off any exterior white lighting uh, when we set our park brake. You can uh, select which type of horn will be um, controlled from our steering wheel. Currently we have it under air horn, siren, city horn and back to air horn we also have our door jar door jar alarm disable if a door jar sensor is to fail you can temporarily shut the alarm off we have our e master which will turn on our emergency lighting when we see something that's illuminated in the red it is being commanded on you can individually turn them off by selecting the button next to um, whichever uh, feature you would like to turn off. We can dim the light bar, 50%. We have a warning, another warning light menu, it's basically the same there. We also control our HVAC through the Vista screen. We have our AC. We have our heat, defrost, fan speed, temperature, control up and down. This is additional lighting for scene lights, left alley, rear spotlights, our ground lights. System info, this is a screen to check the node system for the truck. The node system is our electronic system. Um, we can check for open and short circuits from this screen. No faults detected. Secondary menu. Dome lights, we can control our interior lighting from the screen. We got the dome lights clear. We also have dome lights red. We can also disable our air horn from this screen. We can also turn off our Officer Vista screen with the Officer Vista Sleep button. You can check your backlight or change your backlight setting from this screen. It actually likes the brightest one. Here we go. And back to home. Underneath we have our mirror heat or defrost button. We have our headlight switch. We have our dimmer for our uh, interior uh, backlighting. We have our windshield wiper control switch. And here is our retarder switch which is automatic, depending on our braking or if we are decel. Here we have our controller for a retarder. There's different settings that you can uh, have it in. We have our park brake valve here. When it is pulled out, the park brake is set vehicle will not move. If you push in, it will say depressed and it will release your park brake. 
up here we have our front brake valve, which we can use during parking on a hill, including our park brake. Here we have our automatic transmission keypad or selector. We have reverse, neutral, and drive. Um, there's some features that we can um, show you here. So if we press the plus and the minus simultaneously, we can go through and check our oil level. We can also check for any codes. So this here is showing our oil life percentage. Press again, filters okay, trans health okay, no codes. So by doing, um, by pressing both of these buttons simultaneously, you can scan through and look at your condition of your transmission. This screen here is for our backup camera as well as our left and right hand side cameras uh, during turning. They are commanded on with the turn signal. With left turn it will turn on the left side camera and if you put in reverse it will show our reverse backup camera. Here we have our siren controller. Right underneath that is our traffic advisor. We got the two radios, AM, FM radio, handful of USB ports. We have a siren air horn, air horn disconnect switch, which does have a safety lock on it so it can't accidentally be bumped. But that will turn off any noise makers. We have a square switch. This switch is to turn our air scrubber, which is in the rear. Um, part of our clean cab system. Our Q siren disconnect switch. If the Q siren does stick on, this is a switch to uh, engage to cut power to the siren. So currently, it's in the on position. Flip the door up. Hit the off button and it will disconnect power to the QSAR. Here is our siren brake. These controls here are for the go lights on top of the rig. We have a captain side and an engineer side. This is the on switch and this joystick will move the light. Here we have our transfer, transfer case control. Currently is in the road position. If you were to put it in pump mode, you will notice that this has a neutral position and a pump position. These two green lights will turn on once the pump is engaged and all conditions have been met um, for OK to pump. This gauge here is for our air cleaner, engine air cleaner. If it is plugged, it will have, it will show excessive vacuum.